I think we're getting love languages wrong. I think that the conversation around love languages is largely about, you know, I learned to speak your love language and then you'll feel more loved. Now it's your turn to learn to speak my love language and then I feel loved and that's how we love each other and then everything will be okay in the end. And I think the efficacy kind of speaks for itself. I normally look at things that way. Like, is this actually effective? Is it working? It looks like no. It looks like a no for me. But it's not that love language is like the concept in and of itself is flawed. I think the only reason it took on so much is because we see validity in it in certain ways, right? Like we see ourselves in this philosophy. We have sort of collectively decided that it is true for each of us on some level. The more I started to heal my own wounds and sort of deconstruct my own way of looking at relationships and love, the more I started to realize that it can work both ways. I can also learn to expand the ways in my capacity for being able to receive love. I can learn to see love in places that I didn't see it before. And I can learn to feel love from gestures that didn't used to speak to me that way before. A lot of this for me has been, like I said, just natural through the healing journey. And so as an example for me, I'm someone who grew up with a certain level of financial abuse. I abuse you and then I give you gifts and money to make up for that abuse. And so naturally after growing up in that kind of household as an adult, Gifts was the lowest on my list, and it still is to a certain degree. But I have learned to start receiving gifts as I've started to heal those wounds. I have learned to start receiving, you know, my friends who are gift givers. I've learned to start receiving those gifts and feeling love from those things. This is a gift from a friend. It's very cute, and I love it very much. Without doing that kind of work, I wouldn't feel as loved by my friends as I do today. So yes, I do think it's worthwhile work to do to try to speak other people's love languages. I think it's a wonderful gesture of, I really care about you, so I'm going to make an effort towards this, right? But I also think a part of loving is learning to receive love well. And so I also think it's equally as important of a gesture and an effort to make to learn to receive love the way that our loved ones naturally give it. I just think it works both ways. Anyway, if you like the kind of stuff that you're seeing on this channel so far, click subscribe, drop a comment, let me know what else you think about love languages. I'll keep these coming. Bye.